Hi, in this video you will know how to change the material to a key and such text. Let's get started. I will be changing the material of this illuminated wall. Now I need to select it and then convert it to blueprint. I have selected the wall, now I click this button and click the convert selection to blueprint. In this window I click on the harvest component and enter the name. I leave the same path and click next. Blueprint was created and opened. I will create a box collision first. For this click add and search for box. It was created at point zero and need to move it to the wall and adjust its size. The size of the box collision forms a space entering and exiting from which some action should take place. Now we create the text. For this click add and search for text. It needs to be moved to the right place. I will change the text in the properties and make the text in invisible initially. Click save and compile. Let's turn to the programming. For this, uh, click even graph. I click right mouse button on the box, select add event and select add on component begin overlap. Uh, I click right mouse button on the box again uh, select add event and select add uh, on component and overlap. Uh, and overlap is triggered when exit box. And uh, begin overlap is triggered when entered box. I will uh, I will connect enable input to begin overlap. And I will connect uh, disable input to end overlap. I click right mouse button for search get player controller. Then connect uh, to player controller channel for these nodes. Next, I will connect both of these uh, nodes to toggle visibility for text render. Ok, now I click compile and save for test. The project has started, uh, go to the wall. When we enter box, we will see the text. When we exit box, uh, the text will disappear. Great. Let's go back to the blueprint to continue. Now we need to switch material by key. To do this, I click right mouse button on the empty space and look for the right key. Next, I connect the multi-gate node to it. You can attach a lot of materials to it, creating the necessary number of pins. I will have three materials, so I will press add pin. Now I have three slots for three materials. I will connect the first set material pin. You can choose any one. I remove the attached static mesh and move all parts of my wall from the list of the components to a free space. All static mesh needs to be connected to the target channel on the set material node. I will create two more set material nodes. For this I select the material and press Ctrl D. I connect them to the free pins. I connect all static mesh to target channel. In all set material I leave element index 0. I have only one material at the wall with an index of 0. If you have several material on the object set the index of the material that you need to change. In material I select the material I want to install. I put my own material in each slot. In the letter I will exhibit the material that was originally on the wall. Almost done. It remains to turn on the loop so that the material change is repeated after the end of the cycle. I compile and save for test. The project has opened, uh, I approach the wall, uh, press N key and the material changes. 
everything works thanks for watching